Hello, welcome to another Bad Room Memory Review. I'm Chris. Today is episode 26 of Doctor Who, the classic run. The first season, the original Doctor. This is called The Keys of Marinus. So this is the final in the serial of The Keys of Marinus. And last time it ended with Ian going to jail, or murder, I'm sorry, not murder, being sentenced to death for murder, and Susan being captured by someone. He said they are going to make her or kill her if something happens. I literally watched it like 10 minutes ago and don't remember. Let's see where this goes. Without further ado, get to the show. Susan? Barbara, they made me call you. Who, Susan? Who? Barbara, listen, they were... Susan? Susan? Oh, we're in some trouble. Karen, no. But what else can we do? We've got to find her. Yes, of course we have, but... You're thinking of the doctor. He mustn't know anything about this. He mustn't keep his mind absolutely clear in order to concentrate on Ian. How much longer? Execution is set to take place when the pointer reaches the star. Blah. Pointer reaches the star. Will I be allowed to see my friends? Oh, that sucks. That's no way to treat a guest. I don't see how that helps. Well, they must have been in contact when they were planning the robbery. It's just possible that his wife, Carla, might know someone that he was seeing quite frequently. But if she did, do you think she'd tell us? Well, of course she would. She, she would now. We are to find the man that murdered her husband. I'm not so sure. Oh, it's a chance. Come on. It's a chance. You. What if she is the one? Sorry to disturb you. We know what a terrible ordeal you've been through. But please understand. We had to try. Goodbye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. We're here looking for you. No, don't look hopeful. They've gone and they won't be back. They're like all the rest of them. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Yes? The trial has just ended. Chesterton is to be executed at the beginning of the next zenith. Good. The old man didn't say where the key was hidden. No, and certainly doesn't know. Carla couldn't have known. No, no, what? What are you talking about? Carla said you must have been sick with worry since you spoke to Susan. Well, how did she know we'd spoken to Susan? We've told no one. Then Carla must have been with Susan when she telephoned. Yes. Come on, we're going back. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do the slow, deliberate walk. Seems a pity, really. The old man didn't know where the key was hidden after all. Let me go, let go of me! Let me go. Don't struggle! I'll take the weapon away from her. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. What? That's tight security right there. Time. Well, Carla's made a full statement. She's named her accomplice. Ah, then you can stay the execution. No, I can't. Carla's sworn testimony states that the man she was working with was Ian Chesterton. Dim you didn't recognize the voice? No. What else did he say? Oh, nothing much. Just that he'd collect the key later and, and then pick her up. Collect the key? There you go. <laughs> yes, yes. You understand? The villain that planned all this, the one who planned this whole affair, is now planning to collect the key. <laughs> what a wonderful opportunity it gives us to catch him red-handed and to release Chesterton. <laughs> <laughs> that evil. <laughs> uh, the pointer's getting close. Oh my god, really? They had the key in the cabinet? In the weapon. You. Call the prison. Oh, hey. How did you 
did you know it was there, Doctor? Well, it had to be. I knew it all along. Until we knew the culprit, the information was no good. Well, everyone and everything that went in or out of that vault was checked. Everything except this mace. Have you any idea why they did it? Oh, yes. They wound up to everything. Carl and the prosecutor had planned to steal the key and sell it. And Chesterton here just happened to walk right into the middle of it. As it made him look so guilty, I never doubted for a moment that he was the one. <laughs> mm. You should read Pillow, my boy. I understand. Where have they gone? Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> He's gone, too. <sighs> yes. He told us what was going to happen, and we saw it. But nobody else has seen it. We'd be better off keeping this story to ourselves. How are you going to complete the report, Terence? Sounds so familiar. I shall say that... They just left? That they left. They left to take the key back to its inventor, Arbiter. Which is actually what they did anyway, so... Arbiter is dead! Do you hear me? I, Yartek, am in control now. What have you done with Sabisa? Where is the final key? I don't know. Why are you so stubborn? What purpose does it serve? I'm going to find out in the end. What have you done to Sabisa? <laughs> Why have you tied him up? He's All the trip. Oh. He's just a servant. Even so. It's a bit odd. You mean Sabitha not being here to meet us? Or Alta. Better keep our eyes open. Or Albertan. But the key. The final key. Do you have it? Yes. Ian. I have it here. Throw it down. Good. Now bring the old man to me. Sabitha will be here. And we can enjoy our triumph together. I'm sorry. The angle. Susan would be able to see him. That's the fake one. Arbitan sent Alsace for the keys. This man said he was a stranger. He never looked at us. There was something funny going on there. Well, then why give him the key? Ian. So when Yartex gets the final key, his power will be absolute. Yes, with the aid of the machine, he could control us all. And our impulse to leave this planet would be destroyed. That is true. Oh, you heard about Arbitan? Yes. We met the man who's usurped his place. Well, uh, uh, give me the key and we must have it destroyed. Ian gave it to him. What? what? You gave it away? I gave him a key. Mm hmm. Subitha. Gave him the fake. fake key. Barbara found it on the idol. I remember. That was the key I gave him. Mother's death, of course. But it doesn't matter. The machine's power will spread through the planet. There is no escape now except for us. I will bring them back with this. Well, Everything wasn't that some luck? Yes, my child. What are you going to do now? Well, we might well return to the city of millennials. We still have our travel dials. It's a good place to start. Susan! We've got to go now. Goodbye, Speed. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, Altos. Goodbye, Susan. What shall I do with this key, the one I didn't give to Yartek? Why don't you give it to the doctor? That's a good idea. All right, I will. Goodbye, Barbara. Goodbye, Altos. We should think of you often. Ian? Goodbye, Altos. Goodbye, Sabitha. Take care of her. What a gentleman giving her a handshake. You may depend on that. Aww. Oh, dear. I shall miss them. Come on, Barbara. That's 
mini. Yes! Oh, what a great way to end it, the way he started it. Except that should have blown up. Loved it. Great story. I know it kind of wraps up really quick in these older shows, but the story was good. It was a good journey. Got to the end. Got wrapped up. Nice slide of hand, at the hand of the keys at the end by Ian. He saw something. Even in the moment that Susan didn't. Although she got it when they were walking away, which was nice. And they tricked him, vanquished the, the enemy of that world, and now they're on to their next travel. Hope you guys liked the reaction. I had fun with that little, what was it, seven episode run. Very good run. That's something that's one I probably might go back and rewatch again. That was very fun. But if you like what you saw, feel free to like, share, subscribe, notification bell. You know, hit find me on the socials, description below, in the comment section. Until next time, Chris out.